My citrus isn't looking very good. Citrus sometimes have lots of problems and that's the reason why they're the topic of our two minute pest. Tom, do your citrus get a lot of pest problems? Oh no, they do fine. They, <laughs> no, Never well, a problem. I, mine are like everybody else's. <laughs> and, and this one here has a citrus leaf on That's what hits me the worst, especially on my lemons and limes. And you can see that browning right there. It's actually a little zigzag pattern going back and forth. And if I flip the leaf over just a little bit, you can see the surface here where it's kind of a highlighted kind of light. That's where the little leaf miner's been going back and forth. And then they come over to the edge and eventually curl and pupate and start the life cycle. So a little moth that does this, by the way. A little moth, yeah. and they, they do cause considerable, noticeable damage, yeah. but it's really not to be alarmed about. I try about. to ignore it. If you had to do something, you could use an oil spray, horticultural oil, or you could use a spinosad, a natural control, but timing's so critical that I just try to ignore it. What do you got? Yeah, the timing is it, the new growth. Yeah. Well, I have the black stuff, you which is do. alarming, and it's called yeah. sooty mold, but sooty mold grows on the excrement of insect pests, and so it means that the tree has some kind of an insect problem, like white flies, maybe scale. And so the way to control the sooty mold is to control the insect pest. And usually you can do that with horticultural oils. That's some of the best sooty mold I've seen for a while. Good yeah, job. It's, it's, <laughs> thank you, that is from my yard. So Everybody has some of these things. Don't worry about it one bit. Here's a, a nutritional problem here. And you know, I, mine just started developing this. It could be serious, actually. You could use a nutritional spray. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Or you might be checking the trunk or the root system. You can see how those leaves are kind of modeled around there. And that's a really Real problem sometimes. So minor nutrient uh, spray, I think it's going to help it out. I'll keep my fingers crossed. What do you got? The last thing we got is the citrus rust mite. And tell me a little bit about this. Well, the rust mite's a major problem during the summertime. If we want to control them, well, they're there rasping, sucking the surface. That's why I got all this brown. People see a lot of this there. Doesn't hurt the quality of the fruit or anything. But if you have it, you may think of an oil spray in about July, June or July. And, and that will out. take care of the mites. That will take care of them. And of course, we got the small fruit problem. Yeah, that's a, believe it or not, a grapefruit. This is Celeste's big fruit. And you know, there's really, it, the tree could be in decline. Yeah, pop up your water fertilizer, maybe a minor nutrient spray. What well, Tom, uh, we're out of time, but we have to just say, if you take care of your citrus, a lot of these problems can be prevented.